Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to Fire, the Gospel Experience. Hello, hello, and praise the Lord. Don't you know that it really is the rhythm and the praise? Talking about the rhythm of having God in our lives, and it ain't nothing but the praise that comes from our spirits, out of our mouths, and into the atmosphere that we honor our God, not just with our lips, not just with our presentations of sanctification, but with our whole lives. I've discovered that the more that we walk with God and do things according to his will, the more we have to surrender of ourselves. Praise the Lord and welcome to FIRE, the gospel experience that is dedicated to honoring the true and only living creator God. I promise you, now is the time, beloved, to let your mind, body, and soul be refreshed in our relationship with our Creator God and His precious Son and our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Don't you know that Jesus the Christ is unashamedly declared to be the only true Savior and Son of God right here on fire, the gospel experience. We have no shame. We don't apologize for our faith. We are meek because of the Spirit of God in us, but that don't mean that we're weak. We are strengthened by the power of God himself. His word dwells in us richly, and don't you know that because of him, we can do all things. I'm your purpose and power-driven host, Ron E. Jefferson, and as you can see, I am here fired up, just like always. Where you think I get that time on the show from? Fire! Because the Lord has set his people on fire. Fire. We love him for all that he's doing for us. And I promise you, just like my elders used to say, if he don't do another thing, he's done enough. I used to hear people say that and wonder if they really mean that. <laughs> Guess what I did? I just kept on living. So listen, we are here to bring you the most uplifting and soul-inspiring music ever made. Fire is the broadcast that will light, ignite, and fan the flame in your spirit. Hey, to be that victorious believer in Christ. And I said, hey, for a reason, because I feel God's Holy Spirit just moving in me. He just jumped in me, and I had to say, hey, 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 because I promise you, I'm that living witness that God will move in your life and transform you. Y'all are in for another special treat on this fire gospel experience. Man, we're going to be embracing Colossians, the book of Colossians, where the Apostle Paul is writing some specific, powerful information for us to embrace and to apply to our lives. We read how our good and gracious God has transferred us from condemnation unto redemption, from darkness unto light. From heaven, I'm talking about we are on our way. He has brought us from hell to heaven. And listen, we are called. We are those ones that are called out. We are the called out ones. 
we are empowered with strength and knowledge as partakers of the inheritance of the saints. Hallelujah goes right there, right there, right there. Listen, I have a special guest that's going to be here joining us, and she's going to bless us with her wonderful music ministry and powerful testimony. I have another woman of God that's here with us. Oh, my God, that's going to be bringing word up that inspirational moment where we just want to interject and empower you with as much soul force as we possibly can. We want to give you something that you could take away from this broadcast so that when you go through whatever you're going through throughout your day, enjoy, empower, in preparation, knowing that you are anointed to do the will of God. Don't you know that the Spirit of God is living in you, and he takes that word that you get from your preachers and your teachers and from those other saints of God, and we use that word, man, to operate in the supernatural. This ain't no mystical stuff like you see on TV or from Hollywood. This is the real deal. Our God is awesome. So listen, you still have time. Call your family, call your friends, and let them know, along with your co-workers, that Ron E. Jefferson is back on the airwaves, and I am here to do some very specific things. First of all, it's all about praise and honor and worship God on this Fire Gospel Experience radio broadcast, and it's to bless each one of you listeners to encourage you to enrich your spirit. Oh, wait a minute. I just felt the Holy Spirit moving again. Guess what? He just lit the fuse because we are about to set the internet and the airwaves on Holy Ghost sanctified fire.
hurts because He loves me, oh He loves me I can feel Him down in my soul, oh my God, it makes me holy, yeah Yeah, yeah I will put my problems in His hands because He don't want me to worry Worry, oh no worry He's my King of King and Lord of Lord and I know He knows what is best, best for me gospel experience all with Tina Hughes with Hello Victory. You know, we're going to be talking about being delivered. Apostle Paul broke it down real good in, in Colossians. I started to say first Colossians, like he needed to write another book to Colossians. Maybe he did. I don't know. But in Colossians 1, 13 and 14, we are blessed to be the children of God that have been delivered. You hear what I said? Delivered from darkness. Now, we're going to talk about that. But I had to bring on Tina Humes. Thank you, dear Tina, for uh, bringing me that music. All you wonderful gospel artists, y'all keep this show so smoking hot by sending all this beautiful music. I got a ton of music, and y'all just keep sending it. I thank you for it. I'm going to keep praying for your ministry so that you will continue to expand your territory in your music ministry and that your personal life will be filled with nothing but victory. Thank you, Tina Hughes, because yes, 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 I claim in victory right now in the mighty name of Jesus, not just for me. <laughs> but for everybody to do broadcast and then some. And guess what? That last song that y'all heard talking about J E S U S Jesus, He is the strength of my life, is the song of my special guest that's here with us today. I'm talking about out of the wonderful state of North Carolina, Lambertburg, North Carolina, to be exact. My special guest is here with us, gospel artist. I'm talking about queen of gospel music. I'm just going to just elevate her right here, right now, uh, to a status that God is going to bless her with. And I'm talking about none other than 
happy to present to you all some and happy to introduce to others my special guest for Fire the Gospel Experience, none other than my Queen of Gospel, Thomasina Hatchet, is here with us on Fire the Gospel Experience. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Sister Thomasina. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad to be here. Lord Jesus, we are so excited to have you here with us. We have had you on my calendar to be with us for some time now. So thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Oh, you're welcome. It's not a problem. Ah, listen, we're going to praise God with this broadcast, but we really, really, really want to know a little bit about this young lady, woman of God, that's in here singing about Jesus is the strength of her life. Tell us about how you came into the understanding that you needed Jesus in your life. How did this spiritual journey start with you? Um, Well, I've been raised in the church forever. Um, I mean, since I was crawling, my mama had me in the church and that's all I know, Jesus. Mm. Like, Jesus is the only way. And mm. when I got older, I found she's right. You know, as a kid, mm. no no one wants to go to church all the time, but Mommy kept me in church and kept me prayed up, and, and it worked, you know? <laughs> Thank God for Mama. Oh, yeah. Well, listen, she knew what she was doing when she had you in church, and it's a beautiful thing to uh, have godly parents over us that will mentor us and lead yeah. and guide us. Now, what we would like to do now is to uh, maybe help us understand where did the singing part come in? Were you in the children's choir and then God just started moving in you from there to the woman of God, gospel artist that you are now? Yeah, um, you know, I've I've been singing since I think around three or four years old and I don't know where it really came from because no one in my family sings, you know. Really? I was on the choir. Mm. No no one. <laughs> mm, that's interesting. And I'm like, Man, that's I'm interesting. like, where did I get my voice from? And um yeah. you know, I've always, you know, tried to figure that out, but I mean I'm thankful. I thank God for my voice. Um, oh, but yeah. yeah, I've been singing in the choir uh, since forever, and that's that's when I became, you know, falling in love with the music. Mm, amen, amen. Well, listen, I have been blessed to uh, write a book in regards to uh, knowledge about men that a lot of women don't mm-hmm. know about. It's called "Listen to the Man, Think for Yourself." I was raised yeah. by a single parent mother, and. Um, you know, I've had relationships, and uh, I'm blessed to be married now. In my prior marriage, I had some very difficult times. Is there a message uh, that you would like to share? I'm going to say to single ladies that may be looking for a spouse that are desirous of that lifetime committed relationship, but also to maybe married women such as yourself, that you feel will empower them. Can you speak to those two different groups of sisters? Um, For the single women, just don't rush. Don't rush into getting into anything. Um, Pray and seek at God to let your man come to you. Don't go chasing a guy, you know, and then the right one will come along. Um, And then for married people, Married women, you know, just continue to pray for your marriage. Ask God to cover your marriage um, through the ups, downs. Don't get frustrated and, and, and leave. Um, if it's mm-hmm. worth fighting for, stick in it and, and ask God for help. Because um, that's the only way a, a, a real marriage will work, when both parties are willing to fight for what they, they love. Mm, and you gotta pray. Amen. I mean, you, without without prayer and God in the marriage, because that's a covenant. You know, you gotta have God in your marriage. Mm. If not, mm. you, it will probably fail. 
Well, I know one thing about marriage. I'm going to say this is that even the wedding vows uh, have been under close, close scrutiny and if not attacked by some, some may feel when you get to the part about where it says that uh, the wife is to love, cherish, and obey. Oh, hold on, preacher. You was all right when you said love and cherish, but now you get to the obeying Ooh. part. Can you share a little bit about what that means so the sisters won't be so threatened by words? Because I'm telling you, with understanding comes a great deal of power and knowledge. So let, let's, let's be clear about what it means in the relationship when uh, the wedding vows call for a woman to obey. Because I'm going to talk a little bit about what the man's portion uh, in response to that obedience is. Can you speak on uh, obedience as concerning the love uh, wedding vows? Well, your husband is the head of your household. I, I mean, we can have the best careers in the world. We can do, you know, we can make millions of dollars, but at the end of the day, your husband is the head of your house, and you have to make sure that he's taken care of. Um, as well as family, um, you know, your kids. But I, I I do submit to my husband, and I don't see a problem with that because my vows is to love, honor, and cherish, you know, my husband through sickness or health, ups and downs, whatever it is, you know, I'm going to make sure that my head of the household is okay. Mm. Yeah, I think what a lot of people fail to realize is that if you go back to the Garden of Eden, that had there been a spirit of obedience in the Garden of Eden, we wouldn't be catching all the hell in this world and in marriages and in relationships yeah. that we are now. So obedience is required by everybody. The Bible yeah. declares that the man, the husband, is to be willing to lay down his life because it says that the husband is to love the wife as Christ loves the church. And how did Christ love the church? Well, he was willing to sacrifice and lay down his life. So, ladies, ladies, if you are connected to a man that is willing to lay down his life and sacrifice some of the good things he wants for you because he wants to take care of his queen, all he wants is cooperation. And your obedience is your trust in him and God that this man is leading me down the right path. Now, I guess that's another book for sisters that maybe hooked up with the wrong Boaz. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you thought he was Boaz, but anyway, that's another broadcast. We're going to get into that. Um before we go to your other music, and I'm going to need some more of your music, I'm going to get with Miss Felicia Leslie. I know she's listening to the broadcast. I'm going to need more of your music for airplay, so y'all go ahead and send that to me. Um, but tell, tell us a little bit about some of the challenges and victories that you have as a gospel artist. There are many inspiring and aspiring gospel artists out there now that are still striving to reach certain levels and certain platforms. Is there a particular advice that comes to mind that you would like to share with them now to encourage them also? Um, I would say don't quit. I mean, you're going to get discouraged. I mean, I don't think there's a person on earth that hasn't gotten tested um, with something they really, really love. If you really, really love music, gospel music, um, don't quit. Keep going because there'll be plenty, plenty of doors that shut in your face. But you got to remember when a door shuts, another one opens. So continue to pray mm. and seek God and and just keep going for what you love. It, it don't even have to be, you know, singing. It can be, you know, anything, anything that you love. Um, don't mm. quit on it. Because when you quit, the devil won because oh, he Lord. defeated Good you. Word. So Amen. I would just say don't quit on whatever you love. I was continue Amen. to fight for it until you see the victory at the end of the tunnel. 
All right, gospel artists, you you heard that from my special guest, gospel artist Thomasina Hatchet, and we're gonna talk a little bit more about her ministry because she knows what she's talking about. She's been through the ups and downs, and she's gonna tell us a little bit about how she was able to take that mighty word of God and use it to be able to cut through some of that mess that the devil was trying to put on her. Here's my special guest right here, Miss Thomasina, Mrs. Thomasina Hatchet, with you are God. We're giving you praise because I promise you, you are everything that we were looking for, we, that we desire, and that we need. And guess what, dear God? We need you much, 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 much more. A- Amen. <laughs> Amen. be with you. 
Hello, I'm Tamala Coleman, and you are listening to Fire, the Gospel Experience with Ron E. Jefferson, where the fire is moving, uplifting, and unrestrained experience of biblical inspiration and gospel music. I pray that my radio ministry, Spiritually Speaking with Tamala Coleman and Book Unleashed Travails, will uplift your spirit and give you new strength. Keep it tuned in and bless your family friends, and co-workers by telling them about fire on this station. It's all about kingdom building. To get a bill that you know you can't pay. Hate to raise a child and watch him go astray. Hate to work all day and get laid off before. Hate to be married and hear your spouse say, I don't love you anymore. Blame for the wrong. You try to be friendly, but you end up alone. When you do all you can, it's still not enough. It seems like it should be easier, but it keeps getting tough. Trouble there, trouble everywhere. Living this life, there's always something, something to bear. I go through so much, it never seems to end. I go through so much till it seems like trouble is my friend. No matter who you are, no matter what you have or what you might say. Go to bed feeling good and wake up with troubles in your face. But it's just the word of God that is being proven true. It's just trouble for me, yes, that's trouble for you. You, the rent, the food, the clothes, the car, the life, the gas, the job, the kids, the spouse. Yes, the list goes on and on. But it seems like the more that I have, it seems like the opportunity increases for more things to go on. But I won't be defeated, I won't be discouraged, I won't be afraid. Because I know the trouble don't last always. I'll take all my problems and I'll put them in his hand. Because I know it's an opportunity to see God work again. Bad news is good news. Yeah, yeah. 
about to do. He's about to do something for me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We always praying, God, get me out of this mess. Don't you know that when God allows certain trials and troubles to come our way, don't you know that that's just bad news preceding some good news that God is about to do something for you? Thank you, Pastor Shadrach. Oh, my God. Bad news is good news right here on Fire the Gospel Experience. You don't have to fret. You don't have to worry. It's all about just having the right mindset. We ain't scared of no trouble. When it comes our way, guess what? We deal with it just like we're supposed to, with a spiritual mindset. We don't fret. We don't fear. We don't fall out like unbelievers because we know God is working on our behalf. And before that, we heard from my special guest, gospel artist Thomasina Hatchet, with You Are, I'm Telling You. That song, I was just talking to my dear sister Thomasina uh while that song was playing and she just confessed, she said, oh, my God, Brother Ron, that song just gives me goose pimples. I feel that cold chill of spiritual joy running up and down my spine. My God, and I felt the same thing, too, my dear sister. Tell us about the inspiration of that song. That is your latest project, You Are? Oh, yeah, it is. Um, I don't know. I was just, I was driving down the road one day. I'm like, Lord, I said, you are just so amazing I'm like oh like I can't I can't do anything without you and then that's when I'm like hmm you are alpha you're amazing I just started right and I said this might be, this might become something and I was just looking at like all of his his artwork of life like it, it just it amazes me like how awesome he is and every time I hear that song I just I Get chills, and I'm like, oh my God, you're so amazing. I'm I, so I'm amazing. so excited about that song. Hey Amen. See, now you just told me something right there. I was checking your uh, biography, and I didn't see the part where you're a songwriter. That's a beautiful thing because oh, you yeah. don't have to wait. You don't have to wait for oh, somebody no. to sing you something. All you have to do is just wait on Holy Spirit, God, to just kind of give you a certain vibe and say, wait a minute, give me something. To this. Mm-hmm. And you'll hear it in your spirit. You'll hear the lyrics in your head because I'm a writer. And I promise you, I can hear God speaking mm-hmm. to us. Now, let, let me let oh, me yeah. ask you this. Because I told you the Spirit of God will lead me to direct this interview. What would you say to somebody that's out there that is wondering, is this God speaking to me? How do you know when it is the voice of God? Because, you know, there's so many different voices around us that's always trying mm-hmm. to get our attention. Help uh, us understand what it is that we can be sure and certain that it is Holy Spirit God speaking. If that thought is constantly in your mind, that's God talking. If you if you feel a certain type of way where you can't let it go, that's God talking mm. to you, and you shouldn't ignore it. Not at all. Mm. Well, see, I appreciate that. Uh, don't let it go. Hold on to it. Because if it is God, it will remain there waiting on you mm-hmm. to embrace it. Amen. Now, tell us a little bit about what it is personally that you have done in your personal life, not necessarily uh, as a gospel artist, but maybe some of uh, instances in your life where you were really, really down and your faith was really being tested and tried. What was it that you did to be able to watch God move in your life and bring about a, a certain change? Um, well, you know, I'm a breast cancer survivor, um, two-time breast cancer survivor, and I everybody knows me. I'm I'm a real bubbly person, and when I got my diagnosis, um, I looked at the doctor. I said, "Oh, okay." I said it just like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Come> <laughs> I was like, "All right, God, you got to do something because I'm not ready to leave here. I have children, and I got too much work See to you. do for you." See you. And I, I kept that whole mindset because if anybody hear cancer, I can't I can't lie to you. That's a scary thing. But I had yeah. to I had to show 
the devil who I was. He was not going to win Come that on. battle. I had to let let him know, like, no, uh-uh, this is only a test. This is only a test. This is for my testimony when I go out and see millions of other people who are going through the exact same thing that I'm going through. And I'm going to let them know yeah. they can't get defeated. They will not get Amen. defeated. They will come Amen. out on top, and they will have a victory. And that's how I had to look at it because, I mean, I I, I went I went through some things, and but I still mm. kept my personality and my mindset. I didn't let it get me down. And then when he Amen. told me, you know, I'm free and clear, I mean, I danced Amen. all over Amen. that office. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. I did Amen. all over that office because it was it was you know a blessing. I'm like, yes, I told you, God, we were gonna get this, and that's just Amen. how it was. Amen. That testimony just blessed me, and I know it blessed many other mm-hmm. listeners right now because you say you have a bubbly spirit, and I can feel your love of Christ <laughs> and 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 the bubbly spirit that you're talking about. I can feel it through the airways and. That is the exact reason, Sister Thomasina, why I bring you gospel artists on, you preachers and teachers, because we see Mm y'all on stages, on platforms, on YouTubes and other social media, but we want to know more about you. Why uh, do you have this joy? How can I get this joy? Uh, What keeps you going? So, man, I'm telling you, you are a blessing to the body of Christ. I'm praying that you will continue to let God use your gifts and your talents for a greater oh, yeah. calling that I already know he has on your life. Now, in, in closing, because I told you the time is going to go fast. I told you that. Now. Oh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> Is there any parting words of wisdom that maybe Holy Spirit God is giving you right now that you'd like to share with us? And if so, I want you to give us all of your contact information for those pastors and concert promoters that are putting together their 2019 schedule for events, revivals, um, and also all of your social media outlets so that we can follow you as well as where can we download your music because the Bible declares that the laborer is worthy of his hire, and you need to get paid for your gifts, for your talents, and for the work that you're doing in the ministry in this kingdom-building process. What words of wisdom would you like to share in parting? If you didn't have another chance to say something to whoever, what would it be right now? Um, I would just say no matter how hard it gets, never stop fighting and never stop praying. Seek God When you're at your low, continue to seek God and watch him pull you out of any situation that it's in, that you're in. Mm -mm. Amen. That's a word right there. I'm going to put that in in my uh, special (laughs) suitcase and pack that with me. Just like they say, that one credit card never leaves home without. You need to have (laughs) words. You need to have some word with you. And don't you dare leave home without some word that's going to protect you and empower you oh, yeah. throughout our day. Give us all of your uh, social media contacts and where to download Thomas C. The Hatchet Ministry Music. Um, well, you can go on all the digital outlets, um, iTunes, Google, Amazon, Spotify, um, anywhere digitally and download Thomas C. Hatchet. You are. Um, my social media is Thomasina Hatchet. Um, my Instagram is Thomasina Hatchet. So anything Thomasina Hatchet, you'll be able to find me. And I would love everybody's support and prayers um, for everything. Amen. Amen. Well, we're definitely going to do that. And uh, oh, definitely yeah. want to give a shout out to uh, your favorite person in this ministry and my other than your husband of course talking about <laughs> sister felicia um, oh, we yeah, know that she's, she's awesome out there talk. listening and i know oh, she's yeah. taking good care of you oh god <laughs> she's like she is the absolute best if anybody's looking for management i would suggest you guys reach out to her um felicia leslie on social media because in this acts entertainment management but she, mm-hmm. she's awesome. She's awesome. Amen, amen. You heard that. If you're a gospel artist and you're looking for 
Good Spirit Field Management. That is Felicia Leslie in Axe Management. She's on Facebook. You can look her up, Felicia Leslie. She's on my Facebook page. You'll probably see some of her artists along with Thomasina Hatchet on my Facebook page, Fire. And um, get in touch with her and let see if there can be some sort of kingdom collaboration with you and that sister that's doing a mighty work in gospel music oh, yeah. ministry. My dear sister, I appreciate you so much. I need oh, to you're let you understand. It, I, I need to <laughs> help you understand. You've been on my show. Now, guess what? You belong to Fire Gospel Experience. Now, you ours. <laughs> We're claiming you. Ain't nothing you can do about it. So I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I accept it. Listen, I accept it. Amen. Well, listen, my prayer for you and your ministry and your family is that God will overwhelm you with his abundant love, joy, peace, and blessings, and that you ain't seen success yet. God has got greater waiting on you now. People is talking about uh, it gets greater later, but guess what? God says it gets wild now, so be ready for your wild, my dear sister. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Amen. Thank you for joining us. My dear sister, Thomasina, thank you. Thank you for the Lord. Support her. She's on Facebook, and she already told you where to download her music. You can go to all of her social media contacts and then support her and follow her. We are bringing you the very best in gospel music and in gospel conversation. We're not bringing no Rudy Poots on this show that act like they know Jesus and ain't seen Jesus since he walked the earth. Listen, we are here to bring you the very best in gospel Uh, I can't say gospel entertainment because we're not trying to entertain nobody. I'm going to say gospel enrichment, gospel encouragement right here on fire, the gospel experience. You think I'm playing? Check this out. Here's Dexter Walker and Zion Movement because the theme for today, yes, we're talking about being delivered. And I promise you, when you deliver, you're going to find out that you going to be okay. Come on, Dexter Walker and Zion Movement. Sing about what I'm talking about, good brothers. Sometimes you ask God over and over again, Lord, I can't take this. This thing is, 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 is causing me pain. It's causing me trouble. But I can rest in my spirit. See, the Lord knows what your spirit needs. That thorn... It has power. That thorn has anointing. That thorn has purpose. Jesus knows what's best for you. He knows what our spirit needs. It will be okay. Tell your neighbor, it will be okay.
You are listening to Fire, the gospel explosion where the praises are going up and the worries are going away. Playing for you the best and the newest gospel music on the planet and the most inspiring encouragement under God's heaven. Keep tuning in and bless your family, your friends, and your co-workers by telling them about Fire.
more pain for the millionth time. Ooh, I'm going through something in life. With sex and Patron won't get me right. Looking for you, looking for truth. Looking for proof that you die for me too. Save me from me, save me from who? Whoever got me on this walk with the devil. I think I'm in pain. I was searching for heaven. Living in vain, could you call me your reverend? I'll go to church if you give me your message. I'll do the work if you give me direction. Bring me the blessings. Need something refreshing. This drink is depressive. This sex ain't effective. So, Lord, could you help me address it? Lord, could you help me correct it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Fire, the gospel experience, giving you the full facet of gospel music right here. You're going to get some of the best of everything right here on this Fire Explosion. We are celebrating our God. He has delivered us. He has set us free. He has brought us out of a hellish existence into his wonderful, marvelous life. You know, this is that time of the show that I would love to just invite all of you gifted speakers. Y'all have this anointed word to encourage us with your words. Give us words of exhortation as well as enlightenment. So word up. Yes, yes, yes. It's that time of the show when I invite y'all in to come in and give us a word, give us inspiration. I'm a firm believer, being a writer and a psalmist and a word person, that just like when praises go up, blessings come down, because that's a universal law that God himself created. I believe also, too, in similar to form, that when words, positive words go up, negative words can go up, too, and infect you, but I wouldn't suggest it. But when positive spiritual words go up, guess what? I believe that blessings go around. So for that reason, I have invited my dear sister from my hometown, I don't care where I go. I'm going to always be a part of the D. No, I'm not talking about Dallas. No, I'm not talking about Delaware. I'm talking about the real D, Detroit. <laughs> uh, my my people and my spirit are always there with me in Detroit. So for that reason, I've invited my dear sister from the D, talking about Detroit. Gospel rapper that you just heard singing that song, Keep On. And yes, before that, we heard from More Than a Melody. Uh, that is Nicole Savage singing, He's All I Need. But my girl just got through singing, Keep On, K Fire is here in the house. So I welcome her to Word Up on Fire, the gospel experience. Welcome, my dear sister, K Fire. Welcome. 
Thank you very much. How you doing today? Mm-hmm. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. I'm Great doing introduction, so well. by the way. <laughs> Thank you, dear. I'm doing so well. If I tried to explain it, y'all would think I'm just bragging, but I promise you I'm bragging on what God has done for me. He has done great and mighty things. So listen, my dear, listen, I have given you this wonderful introduction. So now my listeners, they are sitting there leaning in the front part of their couch, just waiting on you to give us something that's going to bless us with. So let me go ahead and step back past you the microphone and give you the privilege of this platform and let you go ahead and bless us with whatever Holy Spirit, God, whatever inspiration you have in your spirit right now, please feel free to share that with us. Amen, amen. Appreciate that. First off, giving, uh, giving honor to God who is the head of my life and, of, of course, um, Giving uh giving honor to my husband as well. Uh, he'll probably be checking in soon, listening on uh, Todd Strong Music Johnson. Uh, he yes, yes. actually most of the production for my music he actually has done. And we uh, come to you guys from the Heart of Jesus Church, which is located in Detroit, Seven Mile and Gratiot, Apostle Pro, uh, Apostle Prophet Cedric Banks and First Lady Donetta Banks. So. Um, just uh, just want to share a quick word with you guys uh, from my own personal experiences. Uh, I am a I'm an artist, you know, and I I have I do God inspired music. And one of the things that I recognize is that sometimes when you're trying to strive to get everything God has for you, uh, we can become impatient. Whether it be a process of suffering we have to go through, whether it be um, different obstacles that we have to face, maybe things aren't going how we planned it to go. But I love what it says in James when it talks about letting and allowing patience to have its perfect work in you, and then you will be made perfect and complete, lacking nothing. So, so many times we, you know, we get impatient, we get anxious, but it says in the word to be anxious for nothing. So it's no game when you're anxious, but when you allow God to do what he's trying to do in your life, and you sit back and you wait on the Lord, your strength will be renewed. And uh, patience oh, will perfect you. So you mm. have to, you know, definitely meditate on that. It's a process. You know, there's different things that God has placed in all of us. There's this, and He wants that to come out into the world to draw people to Him. But we have to make sure that everything that we're doing, we're doing it in patience. You know, uh, we're doing it because when we allow patience, we allow ourselves to be perfected, complete, lacking nothing. And that's just really me Amen. preaching to myself. You know, I just this week, you know, uh, I had to remind myself. I had to get in the Word. I had to really pray. And I, I'm like, man, I feel anxious. I feel like, man, I'm trying to get these things out. I'm trying to do these different things that God's placed on my heart. But at the end of the day, you cannot run in ahead of God. You have to allow God to go before you and set those things up. And then you just following, you know, you following in Christ's footsteps. So uh, that's the inspirational word. To, to you guys out there, you know, continue to have patience. It's a process getting to your purpose and destiny. Hey, Amen. I love that word. I love it. I love it. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to take that word right with me, K-Fire. Listen, now, listen, this is what I would like for you to go on and get honest. I already know you are. Uh, but, you know, when we uh, were preparing for this show, uh, you had a concern. You said, listen, I I'm, I don't necessarily call myself a gospel artist because I do a variety of different styles of music. Now, with that being said, is there some issue that you feel like some people may have about you choosing to do what you do the way you do? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, it's, it's, it's a twofold thing. So, like, you have one set of people that they don't want to accept rap at all like that kid they don't want to believe that rap can glorify god or even bring people to god they think that that's straight up that's just the devil's work so you have those people that don't know wow (laughs) yeah so they behind on that then you have Mm. um another aspect of it where you have a group of people that they feel like if you're doing it, if you're doing rap or you're doing hip hop, um, and you are a believer, you have to call yourself or label yourself a Christian rapper. 
you have to say you're a gospel mm. rapper. Now I don't mm. knock it when people uh, when people call me that. I don't knock it. That is what you know. You can call me that. That's fine. I'm a believer. I'm a disciple right. of Christ. No doubt about mm-hmm. that. But I recognize that we have to use a certain amount of wisdom. If I'm going in a certain territory uh, and I'm going around saying, "Oh, I'm a gospel rapper," I let my life speak for it. Because you have people that they claim that title and they're not walking it out. So I rather. You get to know me as a person. You hear my music, and you gonna hear something different. You gonna hear, oh man, mm. like this is not just typical hip hop song. This ain't your typical rap song. And then it leads to a mm-hmm. conversation. It leads to a person. I want to know who this is. I want to know what what she's talking about. Because I mean, I never, I haven't heard this. It's God inspired music. But I don't, like I said, I don't claim the title because at the end of the day, I recognize that um, my life is gonna speak for itself. And uh, when when you get into the secular arena like I go out into the lost territory I can go into uh, I'll go to clubs and do my music I'll go to bars so for me I recognize that look you're gonna hear it in my music I don't have to speak or tell you beforehand because then people shut down but Mm. when you hear the music you gonna open up because of the because I perfect my craft you know what I'm saying so then it's like you open you're able to receive God and the Spirit of God. Then it's like, oh man, like I I, I respect what she's doing. I don't have to throw that mm. title on there. You know, I know who that's I right. represent. You know, so that's that's what really it is. Amen. And uh, what we I'm gonna say we as those who confess Christ uh, need to understand that if the Apostle Paul had the same mentality of the other eleven disciples. Uh, how was the rest of the world going to get evangelized? God gave him a ministry mm-hmm. that said, okay, yeah, I understand that uh, salvation comes to the Jews first, but then God opened up the doors of salvation and made it available to the Gentiles, and he sent Paul into foreign lands. And not only that, Paul said, I can speak many different languages. So people kill me when they try to act like it's supposed to be just one certain language, one certain style of music that's appropriate to God. When God is a God of variety, if you look at the rainbow, you'll see a lot of different colors. It's the different colors that make the rainbow so beautiful. Now, I know Amen should go right there. Come on, K5. That's good. That's good. Wow. That's the truth, my dear sister. Yeah, I promise that's, that's, you. I have been. You can use that. You can tell if you got it from Ronnie Justin, host of fire, because I've been studying the word for a long time, and I've had people approach me with all kind of different stuff. What I did is I prayed. The Bible says in James, just like you said, if anyone lacks wisdom, ask God. I ask God because I wanted to be sure about what I was committing my life to. So listen, my dear. You keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to pray that God, Holy Spirit, will continue to lead and guide you into all those foreign territories. And you go ahead and you plant those seeds of salvation and faith. Because I promise you, Holy Spirit, God Amen. is right there with you. He promised I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. Wherever you go in the name of the Lord, there is already victory. Uh-oh, did I did I pull that in just right? Victory? Victory? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was perfect. That was perfect. Let me I tell you something. That. I have I have been saying victory for the last few days now because as much as we like to try to put on perfection, that's a goal. That's not a attainment. Uh, if the Apostle Paul right. wrote two thirds of the New Testament can say, "I have not yet obtained," I promise you, listeners, you and I have not obtained either. So we keep striving. So we have victory. Based upon our faith, based upon our desire to keep on keeping on. You said patience, and I believe you when you said it's persistent, it's patience. Tell us a little bit about this song that I'll be playing um, at the end of this wonderful short interview, Word Up, Victory. Tell us about victory, because we're talking about being delivered in Colossians right now. Tell us about victory before you go. Yeah, no problem. Uh, Victory is one of those songs where I'm touching on, as I talked about earlier, getting into your purpose and destiny. God has a purpose for every individual that's upon this earth. But a lot of times we think that, you know, just because we're trying to get into our purpose or we're, we walk in our purpose, we think it's not going to be tests or trials or obstacles that we have to face. But 
we have to recognize that every obstacle, every form of resistance that comes to us is a test and God is watching. You know, once we pass those tests, we can come on into another level. So the song Amen. victory is about passing the different tests that God sends our way. And uh, even at the enemy, you know, uh, the enemy stands and being able to recognize that we have the victory in Christ Jesus, even in our failures, even in our downs. You know, up and down, we have the victory in Christ Jesus. And like I said, it is a, it's right. a, it's a process. We haven't yet obtained it yet, but it takes time. Mm. You know, it ta- it's a process. Amen. As long as we are living here, we have things to learn. So victory is about coming to your purpose and destiny and being willing to pass those tests and suffer for it. Amen. Can I share this with you personally? Yeah, go ahead. I am so encouraged that your generation loves Jesus just like I love Jesus. I can go to my final resting place knowing that God is raising up anointed warriors of God like you that are fearsome, that are not afraid, that don't mind rocking the boat, that don't mind stirring the pot for Jesus' sake. Because you have to understand something. Our Lord and Savior, he was an antagonist. He didn't mind breaking down those barriers of traditions of man for the sake of spiritual enlightenment and enrichment. So I'm praying for you and your ministry that you keep on keeping on, just like you said in your song. Tell us where we can download this off-the-chain gospel music. How can we get in touch with you so that those promoters and those pastors that's having their youth revivals can get in touch with you and all your social media outlets? Yeah, for sure. So you can uh, download any of my music. Um, the the album Horns and Halos is on iTunes. It's on Spotify. Uh, everywhere, at all digital outlets. Uh, you type in K Fire. That's K F I R E, and then put in Horns and Halos. Um, so that's Horns H O R N S. Then you just do a little and symbol. Then you got Halos H A L O S. And then um, you can type that in and you'll be able to purchase that on iTunes. You can get it on Google Play, all digital outlets. And if you want Victory, the song Victory, that is also on all digital outlets. Type in K-Fire, K-F-I-R-E, then type in Victory, and you can find the music on there. Um, and if you would like to contact me or, or follow me on any any social media sites, uh, there, all of it is K-Fire Music. So on Facebook, type in K-F-I-R-E. Space, then put in music, M U S I C. Uh, do that same thing on Instagram, so it's all one uh, one word. So just K Fire Music, no space. You can do that for Snapchat. You can uh, also make sure you subscribe and find me on YouTube as well. All my music is on there, and every week I do, I try to do a freestyle or some type of inspirational content. So you can go to YouTube, type in K Fire Music, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest of K Fire content. Amen, amen. Now listen, this show, Fire the Gospel Experience, is syndicated by my dear friends and family over at Positive Power 21 Christian Media, uh, CEO Jerry Royce. So there's going to be some people that want direct contact. They're going to want to say, look, I need to cut through all of that, those email addresses and websites. I need to contact you directly. Is that phone number where these gospel promoters and pastors can reach you? Yes, for sure. So um, if you would like to directly contact me, text or call, uh, you can call 248-755-3761. Uh, if you would like to uh, email me, uh, you can put in K-Fire Music, that's K-F-I-R-E Music at gmail.com as well. Amen, amen. K-Fire in the house. I don't care where you go. I don't care what you do. Now that you've been on Fire the Gospel Experience, we claiming you. You belong to us now. We got you. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> hey, Appreciate man. that. Listen, Thank you so much I'm for having me. Schedule. It's my pleasure. I'm going to put you on the schedule. Let's see if we can come back for a full interview and we can really sit down and talk about Jesus like we want to. How's that sound, my dear sister? That sounds good. Hey, man. K Fire in the house. Fire the Gospel Experience. Giving you the very best in gospel conversation, 
gospel music and bring it on these people of God that ain't shame, that ain't playing with it either. So listen, y'all support that young lady. If you miss any of that information that she was giving out, you can certainly go to my Fire Facebook page. I put up my archive show so that everybody don't always get a chance to listen to the show live. I want y'all to be blessed. I want y'all to know how to collaborate on a kingdom level with people that are doing great and mighty things for God. You don't believe me? Huh? Check out K5. She just told y'all about her music. I got plenty of it. It's victory because when you surrender your life to Jesus and walk accordingly to his will, you shall have victory.
Hello, I'm Shea Samuels, the hostess of the Christian Party Line, with my co-host Chanel Lynn Malloy, Patrice Jackson, Paula G. Voice, Lady Wisdom After Midnight, and I always enjoy listening to Fire, the gospel experience with the host and my brother in Christ, Ron E. Jefferson. I want to invite everyone to join us on my engaging, uplifting, and very entertaining talk show every Friday at 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can listen in to some of the best adult and mature conversations of many topics with the ladies of Late Night Radio and our special guests by going online at www.positivepower21.org, Facebook Live at Jerry Royce Live, or Spreaker Radio. We will discuss those issues that you want to hear and make it worth your while to stay up for the Christian Party Line. So be sure to tell all your friends to tune in to the Christian Party Line and, of course, fire the gospel experience and you will be blessed. It's all about the kingdom.
God, we worship you. We come to give your name praise. God, we glorify your name. You're an awesome God. A great God. You are the ancient of days. Come on, new praise. Sing.
amen, with our whole heart, Lord God. We give you ourselves more than we ever have before because, like Pastor James A. Willis just said, you are an awesome God. Yes, you are the eternal Ancient of Days. And before that, we heard from Brent Jones with, when I see you, the Lord doesn't just look at us as we are. When he looks at us, he sees the blood stains of Jesus covering us and making us accepted in the beloved. Here to encourage your spirit, here to give you words of enrichment that will just move in your mind to be committed to just keep on keeping on no matter what. Today we are embracing Colossians 1 and 13 and then we'll probably share a little bit from the 14th verse either because it's hard to just separate the two. We understand that for he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his son. He loves in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness, praise the Lord of sin. You know, when we share our testimony, uh, we are subject to many different and study of God's word, beloved. We realize that we have all been subjected to a world of darkness. Now, when we share Christ, we begin to see the numbness, disdain, rejection, and disbelief from those who are still under the sway of darkness. Sounds familiar, sort of like how we were, right? Yeah. This is the obvious influential atmosphere of the enemy of men and women's souls, the devil, Satan, where he placed systematic agendas, propagandas, and programs in place to bind people into the realm of his darkness that is eternally separated from our God. He has such a hate for mankind that he wants to drag as many souls as he can into his final judgment so that he knows that he will incur souls. Just like the old saying that misery loves company probably originated with the devil. So we are to be grateful for being delivered. We are delivered from what and by what? Well, the Apostle Paul breaks it down like this in Colossians 1, 3. I'm sorry, Colossians 13 and 14. He says, because we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus, Colossians 13, 3 and 4, because we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of your love you have for all God's people, the faith and love, because, listen, they have ears to hear. Like our Lord says in Matthew 11 and 15, they heard and were not confined with darkness that prevented them from receiving salvation. Praise the Lord. It would seem that when each individual reaches a point of searching, that that they and we finally decide that the overall worldly information does not satisfy our longing hearts, and we become spiritually dissatisfied, and we move to new territories of enlightenment that we were once reluctant to before. So, beloved, we are delivered. We have every reason to thank God every single day. If he does nothing else like the saints of old used to say, I promise you, he's done enough. He delivered us. Here's my homeboy from Detroit. That Detroit connection always lives in me. Dexter Monte just said a little celebrated a birthday and he's praising God. But he wants you to know, just like I want you to know, there's always time, room, and opportunity to just pray about it. Amen. Pray, saints. Pray. And keep praying.
face hurt. I'ma play your body, dog. Don't worry about nothing. nothing, nothing. Let the haters stay mad. Cause they always say something.
Sounds of gospel rapper Derek Charles, better known as GC, talking about that old life. Y'all remember that. It ain't been so long. You ain't been so saved. You forgot about that old life. And again, my homeboy from the D, Detroit, Dexter Monte, with pray about it, y'all, because that's what we need to do. We need to pray and pray. And guess what we need to do after that? Yeah, we need to keep praying some more. Listen, y'all. The word of God is powerful. It is able to give us everything we need. We have been embracing Colossians. The first verse, talking about the verses uh, that are revealing that darkness that we need to be aware of and overcome. In verse 5 in Colossians, first chapter, it says, the gospel is bearing fruit and growing throughout the whole world, just as it has been doing among you since the day you heard it and truly understood God's grace. Now, it is that same word that was preached unto our salvation that sustains us. Regardless of life circumstances, we are kept, beloved, by God's word. And that light will remain within us and we need to stay focused on that fact and not lose heart because of trials or circumstances. The verse continues on in verse 9 and 10. It says, for this reason, since the days we heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you. Thank you. We continually ask God to fill you with the knowledge of his will through all the wisdom and understanding that the Spirit gives, so that you may live a life worthy of the Lord, and free and in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, and growing in the knowledge of God. God has declared and decreed that because we are delivered, we are able to call to bear fruit in every good work. So if you're not bearing fruit, beloved, there's a reason. Seek God and he will reveal what you need. And then finally, verse 11 and 12 says, Be strengthened with all power according to his glorious name, so that you may have great endurance. Hang in there in patience. Wait on the Lord and giving joyful thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of his holy people in the kingdom of life. Amen. Listen. We need to understand the power within us that is ever available to us. This power is according to God's glorious might. Unlimited. This is how we endure. This is how we have patience. When we know that we would not normally be so patient, and yet we understand and acknowledge this with great joy to our heavenly Father. He qualifies us to do great and mighty things. In his name, we are delivered from darkness, and we have been inherited as his holy people into his wonderful kingdom of life. Amen. Listen, thank you, thank you, thank you, Thomasina Hatchet, for the music ministry that you're doing and the testimonial life that you live in. Thank you so much, K-Fire, for that fire that's burning in you and praying that God will continue to give you more creativity, ladies, and bless that ministry that you're doing. Thank you, each and every one of you all, for supporting this fight out gospel ministry. Pray for me. Pray. Pray and love me, because I'm going to pray for you and love you back. So until then, listen, I'll leave you with Nikki Berry, let you know that you can be restored, but you are definitely delivered. So until next time, peace and love. Hello, I'm Nikki Berry, and you are listening to FIRE, the gospel experience where FIRE is moving, uplifting, and unrestrained experience of biblical inspiration and gospel music. I pray that my song, Show Me Your Glory, will uplift your spirit and give you new strength. Keep it tuned in and bless your family and friends and coworkers by telling them about FIRE on this station.